Two-time European champions Chelsea have rekindled their interest in Super Eagles forward Victor Asimhan, according to reports in the English media. The 25-year-old who has a £113 million release clause and is expected to leave Napoli this summer, Chelsea have been tracking Asimhan for years but have yet to formalise their interest, this time, according to The Sun, the Blues are set to make good on their interest. Despite facing challenges in maintaining his 2022-23 season form, Asimhan remains a highly sought-after centre-forward as the transfer window approaches. In the following campaign, he scored 26 goals in 32 Serie A matches, propelling Napoli to the league title. However, he netted only 17 goals across all competitions. In the recently ended Serie A season, Napoli's owner, Aurelio De Laurentiis, has announced that the Nigerian striker will depart the club this summer. Premier League rivals Arsenal and Paris Saint-Germain were also monitoring the striker. However, recent reports from France suggest that the Paris club might shift their focus away from the Nigeria international, following a recommendation from manager Luis Enrique. As Chelsea prepares for the possible arrival of Victor Asimhan, the club's new managerial appointment, Enzo Maresca, will be keen on integrating the Nigerian forward into his tactical framework. Maresca, known for his modern approach and tactical flexibility, could unlock Asimhen's full potential, making him a pivotal figure in Chelsea's quest for success. The 44-year-old, who honed his coaching skills under Pep Guardiola at Manchester City, emphasises possession-based football, high-pressing, and fluid attacking movements. His teams are characterised by their ability to control the game through meticulous build-up play and quick transitions. This tactical philosophy aligns well with the strengths of Asimhen, who excels in dynamic, high-tempo environments. Asimhan brings a blend of speed, strength, and clinical finishing to the table. His ability to stretch defences with his pace and his knack for finding the back of the net make him a formidable striker. His aerial prowess and physicality allow him to hold up the ball effectively, creating opportunities for his teammates. Chelsea have joined the race for La Liga's breakout goalkeeper Alvaro Val, according to recent reports. The London club are set to unveil Leicester City's Enzo Maresca, as their new manager, as the Italian coach, will succeed the outgoing Mauricio Pochettino at Stamford Bridge. The Argentine was only appointed 12 months ago, but a turbulent campaign resulted in the two parting ways by mutual consent. Maresca is now set to take charge after guiding the Foxes to a championship title and promotion back into the Premier League. Following their relegation at the end of the 2022-23 season, Leicester City finished just one point clear of Ipswich Town with 31 wins from their 46 league matches. Chelsea are yet to confirm the arrival of Maresca, but transfer rumours are already starting to emerge with Las Palmas goalkeeper Val, who would suit Maresca's style, according to scout Peter Petrov, said to be on the list of targets this summer. According to the Mirror, Maresca's style of play demands a very specific type of goalkeeper, as Danish shot stopper Mads Hermansen played a pivotal role under the coach at Leicester City. The report states that statistics point to Val being among the best sweeper keepers in Europe's top five leagues and Chelsea are eyeing a possible move ahead of the upcoming transfer window, the Blues will face stern competition, however, with Nottingham Forest, who saw a £17 million bid rejected in January, Arsenal and Aston Villa also among the clubs rumoured to be monitoring the players' progress in Spain. Val progressed to the first team at Las Palmas in 2019, and only signed a year's contract extension earlier this year, his current deal is set to expire in the summer of 2025, but the report claims club president Miguel Angel Ramirez is ready to sell the player in the coming months. The Blues goalkeeping department is seemingly well stocked with Robert Sanchez and Dord Petrovic only signed last summer and Kepa Ariza Balaga, set to return from a loan spell with Real Madrid. However, the report from the Mirror suggests Kepa is likely to be sold this summer and Sanchez is also expected to be offloaded by the club. Petrovic is currently under contract until 2030, with the option to extend by a further year. George Petrovic has made it clear he wants Chelsea to sign Benjamin Sesko from RB Leipzig this summer. The Slovenian team is of interest to several clubs, from the Premier League, Arsenal and Manchester United, are also looking at it in the summer, with Viktor Asimhan and Alexander Asak considered too expensive by many teams. Looking for a new striker, Sesko's €65 million Euros release clause explains part of the appeal. The 20-year-old has also enjoyed another excellent season, in front of goal number 18, came with a wonderful strike on the last day of the season against Eintracht Frankfurt. After that, Leipzig of course agreed to try to keep Sesko at the club after the summer and therefore started new contract negotiations. Although the summer window doesn't open for a few more weeks, Sesko appears to have already made a big decision about where his future may lie.
According to the Mirror, Sesko favours a summer transfer to Arsenal compared to other interested clubs. While this will certainly damage Chelsea's hopes, Petrovic could be the solution for the Blues to secure Sesko's signature at the expense of their domestic rivals. When asked about the links between Sesko and Chelsea, he told Nogomania, I know about the rumours, and I followed him. He had a good half season. He is in great scoring form. I read it. Has won in its last seven games in a row. He seems to have gained a lot of momentum for Euros. He is a striker who has everything a modern player needs. He is tall, strong, fast and smart. I watched some of his matches. Of course he can play in the Premier League. Absolutely. He has great potential and has shown it successfully in recent months. Man United have also been linked with Sesko in recent months despite signing young striker Rasmus Hodgland last summer. Just a few weeks ago, the player's agent was spotted at Old Trafford during United's match against Arsenal, and Arsenal's win could be the basis of his final transfer decision. Conor Gallagher's Chelsea future is not in the control of new boss Enzo Maresca, Sky Sports journalist Dharmesh Sheth has told. Gallagher has been linked with a move away from Stamford Bridge this summer. As the Blues look to balance the books by selling an academy product, the Cobham graduate enjoyed an excellent season, making 39 appearances and scoring eight goals as well as captaining the club in Rhys James' absence, this form has sparked interest from the likes of Aston Villa and Tottenham. While Chelsea would likely not want to sell the midfielder, based purely on footballing reasons, in order to comply with new profit and sustainability rules, Todd Burley may be forced to cash in on the player, Chef believes that the decision will be taken out of the hands of new manager Enzo Maresca, who arrived from Leicester earlier this week to replace Mauricio Pochettino. Since Burley arrived in West London, the American owner has overseen four managerial changes, from Thomas Tuchel, to Graham Potter, Frank Lampard, Mauricio Pochettino and now Maresca. Alongside these changes, Burley has signed several new players, eclipsing $1 billion in total player fee expenditure. Possessing an exceptional engine and an eye for goal, Gallagher has developed into a very useful player for club and country, loan spells at West Bromwich Albion and Crystal Palace, aided the development of the energetic box-to-box -box midfielder, and he's now being nurtured into being a prominent figure in the middle of the park for Chelsea. His 2023-24 season has been rewarded with a call-up to England's squad for the European Championships, and he may also now earn a move to a club with Champions League football. It seems the model that they want to do is to the extreme, whereby the head coach comes in and just coaches the team. They want everybody above the head coach that recruitment team and the owners to do all of the signings, so yes, of course, a manager is going to have a say, oh, I'd really like to keep him, but finances might talk on this one. So it will be taken out of the manager's hands to a greater degree than perhaps it would at other clubs. This clear recruitment structure may mean that the likes of Gallagher, Trevor Chalabar and Levi Colwell could be up for sale in the coming windows, with the former the asset attracting the most interest currently.